Hello everyone. Today I would like to show you how to read the coffee cup, especially the saucer bit. Today's coffee saucer looks like this. I resemble it to a sitting man. The person's head, the arms, the legs, the backside, sitting uptight. So this sitting figure might give details about one's feeling and life. As you can see in the shape, the bottom part represents the past. The middle part is today and this is the future. The more bigger the, this past and the middle part is, there is more resourcefulness, more foundation, more strength coming from your past to your future. It means more stability for the person. So this person probably has a good upbringing, good family values, who knows himself or herself, and who is able to think and make plans for the future. When you see, for example, if this part was missing, or if it's like more fragile shapes, let's say this part doesn't exist. That means something is not right there. So it's like the less we see in the bottom, there is something missing with the family upbringing and with the past, unresolved blockages and issues coming from the past. So the upper we go, it's more about the future. Again, the midsection of the coffee saucer and the coffee cup is more about today. That's why when you see bulky shapes like this, I feel assured that something is strong enough to find solution to the problems of life. For a while, I wasn't able to record some videos because I was very busy with my university assignments and with life, like we all are. From now on, I will try to be more diligent for YouTube followers and I will show more examples about how to read the Turkish style coffee and any coffee you might use you might say I use Greek style Cypriot style Arabic style Bosnian coffee it's all more or less the same <laughs>